Hello everybody, welcome back. This is Tinker77. Today we're on Tinker World again. For today, I think the first thing we're going to do is go and cut down some trees to get some wood. We're going to make some chests out of that. And what we're going to do with the chests is to make a small storage area that we can use to organize our items that we have because things are starting to get very disorganized and I'm not knowing where things are at. So that's the first thing we're going to do. So we're going to go plant some of the saplings. We're also going to start cutting down other trees and uh, maybe make a small non-automated tree farm area and just start getting lots of wood so we can get enough chests. So we're going to start that off right now. So this area of land is fairly flat and it's not got a nice straight area. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to plant all these birch saplings. And that'll be a place where we can farm the birch as it grows up. And meanwhile, we'll go out and farm some more things. So we'll wait for that to grow, and that'll be a nice area. And we'll just keep replanting and, and harvesting and replanting and harvesting as we go. So we'll get some birch here. We'll just start gathering wood, and uh, hopefully we'll have enough for chests. Let's see how we do. So a bit of a progress update for you. Now I have approximately 64 plus 20 is 84 of oak wood and I've got about 50 birch. We're gonna continue on for another full day of harvesting and then we'll come back and really start to make our chests. So I'll be back in a little bit with another update. Okay, after two days of game days of looking for and getting wood, we have two and a little bit more stacks of oak and about a stack and a half of birch what we're going to do is we're going to make these into planks and then we're going to start to create some chests up because we need a lot of chests so let me uh do that with the uh oak here let's see here now, do we have enough for stacks already i don't know let me put some of this stuff away that i don't need um first okay now let's see one Yeah, I know, it's a lot of chests, but uh, we're going to need them for what we're doing. Okay, so we got a full stack of chests. That's great. Um, let's go map out what we're going to do now. So, in here, I was going to put a bank of chests starting right here. Skip one for um, trap chests so they can be stacked side by side. Okay. So I'm going to put four of each type. That'll be a total of eight double chests in each row. Okay. And then what I want to do is I want to uh, stack these up. Let's see. So that they're five high. Okay. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to make these five high. Five high of regular, five high of double, all the way over, and we're going to do eight total rows of chests. So let me get this built, and then I'm going to do uh, let you know what we're doing next. Okay, we have our bank of chests ready to go. We have five high of double chest by eight across. So that's 40 double chests set. So now I can start to unload these items, kind of organize them, and that sort of thing. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to try to empty these chests out and get it organized into a way that I that I like. So I've completely relocated all the items. As you can see, the house no longer has the bed or the crafting table or the furnace. So this building will be coming down soon. Um, I have moved all the items into here. I took all of the items here except for the, what's in this chest, which is my bow and my fishing rod. I put a chest over by the enchanting table, which holds any books we find plus the uh, lapis so that we can enchant items and then over here I've got the start of the storage system I did make four item frames so for instance this chest holds anything that's redstone related this will be obsidian this one will be um, various precious metals and gems and that sort of thing but each of these has various things like this has all my nether items this one has basic wood and this has wood items that have been uh, converted into something like a fence or a 
door or something. Glass. We have various tools we want. Um, saplings, and above it will be seeds and other farming uh, byproducts. And then finally, have some food items. So there's different areas, and this will all fill up eventually. So that'll be uh, that'll be the goal. Let's <laughs> get it all filled up with lots of stuff because we need resources to build things. So now I'm going to uh, figure out what the next step is, and see how much time that I've used already in this video, and then uh, try to figure out what the next step is going to be. be with that. So while I'm doing that, I'm going to think I'm going to go AFK in the fish farm. I went AFK fishing for a little bit and with the resources that I received, I put those away in the chests. I also thought about what I wanted to do next and I realized that for most of the redstone projects, uh, you'll need sticky pistons and to make sticky pistons, you need slime balls and you have to have some slimes to uh, kill to get that. So I think I'm going to create a slime farm first. Uh, I've looked up on using a mist, which is a tool that lets you look at your seed and see where slime uh, chunks are. So I have located one and I'm going to get a couple more things and we're going to start to head down and get to that location. So let me gather a couple more things and we'll start to start to dig. I've headed down into our mine shaft leading to where we usually mine and I'm at this point which is layer 40 see how it says 540 negative 552 I have uh, mapped out the coordinates that I need to go to uh, which are roughly 93 obviously level 40 and negative 467 so I'm going to head off in this direction we're going to start mining this way and just head towards where we need to go um, to start this slime farm. So I'm going to continue mining until I get there and then I'll be back. As you can see from the coordinates I've made it to 96 40 negative 467 which is the one corner of my slime farm. I've got a long tunnel here that goes down the way and then turns to the left and goes over to where we started from the mine shaft and this is where we're going to start digging. This glowstone marks the corner of the actual platform that will be making platforms every three or four levels downward as we go. And the idea is a slime would spawn on a platform and they bounce around and then they fall down into this three wide gap. So this will actually be, as an example right here, will go down and fall down to a different level. When they go down into the bottom, there will be water flows which will push them into a place where they will be killed and the slime can be gathered. So that's the one corner of the first layer, the first uh, platform. So what I'm going to have to do now is I'm going to dig out the platform and mark it all out and get it all done. Um, and then once we do that, it's just a matter of digging down. So I'm going to start to do that and I'll get back to you when I get done with marking out the first layer. I've completed the first uh, round of going around the area where we're going to be doing the slime farm. I made the perimeter area. This is the platform you can see here. I've lit up just the outer edge. And this is the three wide gap, which will go down deep to where they go to a water stream that takes them to the kill zone. Um, apparently this whole entire area is inside of a, uh, like a cave system. So I'm having to uh, kill off monsters as I go, just like this. And um, it's, it's slowing me down because I, had, I have to put up walls where there are uh, caves and things. So that sort of thing. I haven't dug down, as you can see. Um, I want to get this whole area now cleared out. This is this whole area here and a ceiling put on it, then the area will be secure. So I'll do that next, and then uh, we'll start to head downward. So let me get that done next, and we'll clear it out, and we'll see how it goes then. We're back again. I have cleared out some space here. You can see the platform starting to appear. I have run out of glowstone, though, so I'm going to have to do a run into the nether to go glowstone gathering. Um, but so far it's looking pretty good. We're getting the space out. This actual platform is 32 by 32. And I know I'm doubling up on glowstone, but it just helps me to see where there are dead spots and that sort of thing. Like right here, the block level is 8. It shouldn't spawn anything because it needs to be at 7. Um, so we should be okay, but um, we'll see. i got to get better at uh, getting the entire thing done. Uh-oh, somebody shot me. Egg. Boom. That's been happening a lot too. So I'm going to gather up the resources that I have uh, put in a chest that's down that way and I'm going to take some of that stuff back up to the base 
and put it away and then we'll get ready to go into the nether. Yeah. Creeper got me. Blew up part of my wall. Well, time to repair that, I guess, and repair our little uh, farm area. I uh, didn't want to do that. Uh, it's going to take some time. And it's all repaired. The farm is all back together. The wall is all back together. And now it's time to go into the nether and get our glowstone. This is a glowstone run. And we'll probably pick up some quartz and other things. So let's, uh, let's head to the nether. Whoosh, here we go. Okay, I wonder, can I get this with a normal pick or do I need a silk touch? I can get it this thing. That's pretty good. That might be useful. Okay, let's see what else we got here. Let's find some glowstone. I think... I think there was some up this way. But I hear ghasts. Don't like those guys. Okay, I don't see much at all for glowstone. You know, it's always when you want to find something that you can't find it, and then you find everything else around the area. It's always that way, right? There's some ports and stuff. We can always get some of that. That's all around, though. But we don't have any uh, glowstone, which is what we really want. Okay. Well, I'm going to look around some more. Let's find some glowstone and I'll come back when I have something. So there's some glowstone and it looks like it's fairly high up but we can uh, mine some netherrack and be able to pillar up to it. That should be enough. So we'll go to this one first. There's another stack but it looks like it's over lava. We want to go up right about here. And there we are. Let's get some of this closer out of the way. So, if I had a silk touch, I wouldn't be breaking all this, but I don't have that yet. So we'll just uh, break it and gather it up in a minute. That was dangerous. You don't want to aim up if you can help it and break stuff because you could have lava be breaking up. So, there we go. We're down, let's gather all the glowstone dust. Okay, that's good. Need a fall over there, doesn't look like it. Okay, we'll go to this stack here. And we'll get this here, and that way we'll uh, be able to get some more glowstone for our slime farm platform. So let's get this too. Hear that? If he comes at us, we're gonna get down quick. Oops, I fell. So if we go again. Actually, let's go a little bit this way here. I don't want to eat so we get healthy. There we go. I didn't really take that much damage. I should have known. Interestingly, it doesn't. Uh oh. Uh oh.
And they disappeared. Nice. Okay, well, that wasn't that much of a fight, but at least we got some glowstone. Is he back already? There's another pocket right there. Maybe we can get that too. I don't know why I was not shooting him. Get him. He's being a pain. We're gonna get him. Man, they despawned again. What the heck? I don't know. This is really weird. I'm gonna get some more glowstone and then I'm gonna head back. So, if anything fun happens, I will uh, show it to you. Gotcha. Yep. Anything useful though? Oh, we got a guest here. Nice. Okay. If they come back, I'll uh, get more video of it. But yeah, we got another guest. Good. Let's see if we can get them here. Okay, well, we'll just keep going. I tried. Oh, well, we're back down here in the, uh, the first layer of the slime farm, and I think I'm going to finish up this layer today, get it cleaned out, and get it looking right. And I thought I would do that with a time lapse. So let me get this, the other account online and uh, try to do a time lapse. So here we go. There's something oddly relaxing about watching a time lapse. In this one, I just go back and forth. And back and forth. Sometimes I put down some glowstone. Sometimes I correct the ceiling. Sometimes I fight monsters. But time lapses are fairly uh, relaxing to watch. Almost makes you want to go to sleep. No, not really. But uh, it was fun to do. I'm getting better at time lapses. So let me know uh, how, what you think about it. And if you have any sources for music, please let me know in the comment section. I would like to add music to this instead of having voiceover work. So thank you very much. So there you have it. We have the first layer done. I'm going to stuff some of the stuff in the chest really quick, and I'll take it up later. I know I've got some iron and things to pick up too, but I will do that later. So uh, let's just get rid of some things that we just don't need. And we'll pick up all this extra junk, and I got to put some fill in some of this uh, ceiling here. I thought I had that all done. But we'll pick up all the stuff here. Um, one other thing I need to do is I'll clean up the little bits of coal or whatever that are on the layer itself. Because as we go down, we'll be going down another level. So there's three blocks of space, and then there'll be another layer just like this. So, uh, yeah. So that's all I'm going to do for today. I'm just going to clean this up, and then I'm going to uh, start to work on editing the video. So that's really all there is to it. And then again, I am Tinker77. Yay, that's me little pickaxe flip there um, if you like this video please click the like button and leave comments for me please I get inspiration from those comments if you like to be notified of other videos that I produce please subscribe to this channel so you can see more of these great videos again I really thank you for your support and have a great day bye bye